Mass production is a great thing, the Model T, right? But people aren't cars. Right. And so <laughs> how in the world did we turn our public education system into this thing that just reeks of all of the factory protocols that I've ever seen. Right. We have one one guy to thank for this, and it's a guy named Frederick Taylor. He invented a thing called scientific management, and most people have never heard of him, but we're all living in his shadow, and it sucks. In a democracy, it was widely understood that institutions serve people, right? What's the point of education? Well, what do people want it to be? That's what it should be, right? He actually flat out says, so at least he wasn't trying to hide it. He said, in the past, people were first. In the future, the system has to be first. The quiet part out loud. He invented the concept of a manager that didn't exist. And he creates this layer of people who plan and people who do. And he, he hated the people that did, right? He had such a low esteem for them, for people that worked with their hands. He just didn't respect it at all. And so he says, he actually flat out told people, when, when they'd give advice, he said, I don't want your initiative. I don't want your advice. I want you to do the thing we're telling you and do it quickly. That's your job. Suddenly we get this rush of standardization of products. We're benefiting from that. And we just start to take for granted that this was an okay way to think about how you run work. Um, then not surprisingly, once you start applying it to work, you got a cottage industry of people saying, well, wait a minute, what about the institution that supplies work, right? <laughs> Education. Mm -hmm. And so we're like rushing to standardize that. And that's where we get like the bells that say it's time to move on to the next class. Yes. They denigrated individuality. People are interchangeable parts. That's the point. So we've lived with that for a while, for quite a while, you know, close to a hundred years. We've gotten a lot of efficiency out of it. Um, we've got a lot of material abundance, but it has cost us our soul, right? It's cost us the, the psychological side, the flourishing Right. That we're, and, and we're left at this place now where kids go through the same factory based education system that has a singular goal at this point, which is prepare kids for college. But this is what we've become. And so we don't care what kids care about. We don't care about teaching people the value of hard work. Right. That that people have dignity and, and people derive some sense of fulfillment from doing work that's meaningful. Um, and we're paying a price for it. That's the bad news. Good news is we know how to get out of it. Is it always some dick, right? Like right. Frederick, is, is, is it always just like one person with a really bad idea, but who is either imbued with enough persuasive qualities or elevated to some position of authority so that the dictates and the mandates and the edicts start to flow 